Yep, they work. <laughs> they, they certainly work, yeah. Tick. Back at Liam's again, uh, this time we're with the Civic. Um, I've got a few exciting goodies. First things first is steering wheel. Uh, I'll show you in a minute, the steering wheel on it at the moment is completely buggered. Uh, apparently it's quite a common fault that all the leather peels off on it, so uh, I'm replacing that with this one, which seems to be in a bit better condition, a used one. Uh, we've got power flex bushes, these are for the lower arm, the front lower arm, uh, and then we've got discs and pad, padged discs, PBS pads, apparently they're the ones that all the Civic Cup drivers use, so we'll be using those. This is the current steering wheel, as you can see the leather's all peeled off at the top, it's a bit ugly, still works fine, but it's just a bit ugly, uh, so we'll replace that with the used one. I could have done it myself, no bragging, but one of the bolts is completely rounded uh, inside for the, uh, for the airbag behind here, so I'll get Liam to help me. Just seen how much of a massacre there's been on that number plate. And look at all these flies. So these are the old discs. So these are like drilled and grooved, but I think what's happened is, I think these are like really cheap uh, discs from like eBay or whatever. I took them on a track day. I think it was like five laps maybe. And they were just juddering, warped straight away. They'd gone. So now anytime I push hard on the car, you feel it and it doesn't make it any better by the bushings being knackered as well. So that's one of the bushes we are replacing and it's a bit of a mess, as you can probably see. So calipers here are being an absolute pain. Piston's not going back. As easily as we'd like, anyway. Yeah. Let's see if we can get so some. it might be new caliper time at some point very soon. So the calipers aren't returning uh, very well, um, which means that we're going to have to get new calipers on it, uh, which means an overnight stay for this poor thing. Um, we'll get some calipers on it tomorrow, but in the meantime, we can carry on with the rest of the uh, rest of the bits we've got. Here's our wishbone and our knackered bush, and we're replacing those ones as well. So to keep things exciting, uh, we've. Had another little fun development. That is not meant to have a hole in it there. Um, that's rotten. And then, yeah, all along here is rotten as well. So, two new wishbones. Are you looking at my new arms? These look a lot shinier and less holy than the last ones. And it would be a shame to get rid of these brand new bushes, but the ones that go in will be better. So it's one of those situations where we're finding new things and new things and new things. So I mentioned to Liam that the rear, uh, the handbrake's not working very well. The cable's free and moving fine, it's just the, uh, the caliper itself, so it looks like most of the calipers in this car are not suitable, so this has just arrived, brand new one. He's a bold man doing that in shorts. So famous last words, Liam just said, this is the easy bit. Hopefully.
Thought you was easy. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh. <laughs> and These are the new discs that are going to go on. Now, they're vented, but not drilled or grooved. Apparently these are the ones to get uh, padged OEM spec. Okay, so after the unexpected overnight stay, from the Civic, uh, here we are. So the brakes are on, looking very shiny. So that's PBS pads, padged discs, and then in there obviously we've got the new poly bush, so power flex bush, and then there's one in there as well. So hopefully it should be a bit better on track. Um, last time I had a problem, yeah, it was literally within five laps that the, the brakes had completely warped, so. Hopefully we won't have the same problem again. Fingers crossed. All right, pump away, yeah? Yeah, slowly. All the way down? Yes, yeah, so all the way down. And just slow and steady, basically. And all the way back up, just keep going. You can see this disgusting steering wheel. Makes my legs look really long. So now we're done with the brakes, I've uh, been home, costume change, had lunch, uh, now we're attacking the steering wheel. The bolt for the airbag is completely like rounded off, partly to do with me, partly to do with possibly the previous owner who's also tried to do it. Um, so now Liam's attacking that and best of luck to him because the luck we've had on the rest of the car has not been great so far. It's really hard to see in there what the problem is, so I'll show you on this wheel. So the airbag bolts in here and here with two Torx bits. Um, which, which way around are we? So this side is the one that's stuck. This side comes off easy enough. Um, this side is, yeah, the bolt is, is A, is in too tight, and B, is completely rounded as well, so, yeah, difficult. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, that. There it is. And that was what I couldn't do. Grinders and airbags. Scary. <laughs> so Liam bless him hoovering up the mess with the quietest hoover in the world, I think. Props to you, Henry. Full service. Yeah, full service. What you get with Pots Auto Shop. So this is what's left of the bolt that was stuck in there. It's been ground off. And actually, considering the precision needed, I think we've done a good job of not taking anything else out with that. So. The steering wheel can still be used, retrimmed. Bedding in the brakes. We've not gone through that hair. 
patch. Well, yeah, that's a good start, actually. Yeah. <laughs> they, they certainly work, yeah. Tick. So we're done. Um, Liam's just wiping the airbag codes now um, and then it's ready to hit the road again. So happy with the result. Definitely borderline net braking on the, uh, the braking. So hopefully that stays. Uh, hopefully we can do that on the track as well. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe if you want. If you don't, then don't bother. Cheers, bye.